Hey guys, in this video, I'd like to show you a journal I put together that shows different events in history, how far the market went down and what caused those events. Um, before I dive in, what I'd like to do is give you a little context of what's going on in the market. Um, the S&P 500 and NASDAQ and the Dow have been down substantially, including the NASDAQ has been down the last three months. What are the reasons why? So I've re really narrowed these down to three reasons. Number one, inflation. Um, inflation is currently at 7% when it should be 2 to 3%. Uh, and the best way to counteract inflation to reduce it is to increase interest rates. So the Fed has talked about increasing interest rates. I think it was like maybe four or five times over the next year. Um, I think it's as much as nine times now over the next year and a half to two years, um, which is a sound strategy. That's what I would do. You have to do it very slowly, methodically. You don't want to freak people out. But of course, as soon as you mention it, people do freak out and start selling off. So that's one reason why the market has gone down. Now, the good news is nothing has happened to the businesses we invest in. Um, so just keep that in mind. It's just the markets and emotions right now. So that's one reason. Number two relates to COVID. So the discussions around Omicron, I think this was late 2021. It could have been like... Um, October, November, um, that created a lot of fear. It's like going back to March, uh, February, March of 2020 with the, with the original COVID, it caused a lot of people to become fearful of the market and start selling. The good news is, and I've heard this from a few people in healthcare, that with every variant that's coming out, it's becoming less and less dangerous. So there's less and less ca casualties related to uh, COVID. Um, and what they're predicting is COVID could eventually just fizzle out here in the next few years. So um, that's a great sign. So hopefully with the next variant that comes out, it's not going to be as um, crazy as Omicron or even the original COVID. Now, the third reason relates to Russia and Ukraine. As of the recording of this video, it is February 25th. Russia did invade Ukraine yesterday on the 24th. The Dow did drop, but the NASDAQ started to take off like a rocket. Um, but prior to that, over the last few months, there's been this um, conversation which creates a lot of fear. So that's another reason why the market has gone down. So let's take a look at um, this journal I put together that'll, that'll give you a little peace of mind and let you know that most times the market goes down, it's usually shorter than we think. So let's dive in. What I did here is I outlined the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ. Each row is a different event. I just highlighted the, or, or I, I put in the prices, the dates, and to see what kind of decline we were looking at. So first off, this was um, January 2018. Market went down about 56 days, down 10%. The NASDAQ was about 70 days, went down 5%. What was the cause? This related to our previous president and his... Actions on Twitter, a lot of discussions around the trade war. It was very much unnecessary, uh, but it created a lot of volatility and it was quite uncomfortable. Um, let's fast forward to later that year. This was September 2018. Market went down 91 days, down 17%. The NASDAQ went, lasted about 84 days and was down 21%. What was the cause? Same reason, more activity on Twitter. Um, and it got a little ridiculous. And I felt this one. That 17%, I was actually, because I hold mostly tech stocks, pretty focused portfolio, I was down like 40%. Um, that was a little obnoxious. Then we go to, as I mentioned earlier, we've got uh, February of 2020. Market started to uh, nosedive. It, it was 35 days, down 31%. Same thing with the NASDAQ. Um, down about 29%, but that was COVID. That was a massive stockpiling event to take advantage of. And then, of course, I did highlight what is going on right now with uh, the market. You've got COVID, you've got the interest rates, and then you have this conflict between Russia and Ukraine. So the overall summary here is don't freak out. When the market starts falling or your st stocks start falling, it's, it's usually related to some kind of event outside of the control of your businesses. You have to remember these are businesses you're investing in. They're going to continue in most cases selling products and services and solving problems. So this is where the rubber meets the road. There's a lot of investors that 
they can freak out and they sell. I see this with actually a lot of experienced investors. They freak out and they sell. And what happens is the market, it's not going to sustain here until the end of time. It's going to correct. And it's usually going to correct sooner than you think. So just be patient, ride the storm out. And if you can, like me, the market goes down is when you want to be stockpiling.